Well, tonight, a Six News investigation has turned up disturbing information from some 90 clients of an Oxville based investment company. Well, the report from Six News investigator Don Dare has people asking, how could their money have just disappeared? Open Door Investment Club began in 1998 when a few friends in Knoxville pooled their money together to trade stocks in what's called day trading. At first, yearly returns were strong. There would be several name changes over the years, but the president and treasurer remained the same. Let me see, see some. David and Lillian Robertson joined Open Door Investment in 2005. Their investiture, more than $140,000, put aside for their grandchildren's education. David even encouraged his late mother to deposit her savings into the club. Records show this man, Roger Williams, was the president and treasurer of Open Door Investments. Roger Williams handles all administrative matters personally. The Robertsons trusted Williams, but never met him. However, when this notice arrived three years ago, issuing a moratorium and canceling distributions, they started worrying. I like to know if he's got any money or what he's got him invested in. And, uh, I'd just like to know if there's any chance of getting it back. This is the last statement the couple received, March 2011. That's about the time when David tried to close out his late mother's $10,000 account to cover her hospital bills. William sent this schedule of 12 disbursement payments. The Robertsons would only receive two checks amounting to $2,000. We messed up royally now. I feel like. When David asked Roger Williams to transfer his $140,000 investment to a Northwestern mutual fund last year, two checks were sent for a total of $550. I don't know if he just lost our money or, or what he's done. How you feeling, Diana? What's going on? Scott Parsons' dealings with Roger Williams are similar. The Knoxville chiropractor says he had never met Williams, despite numerous requests to discuss his investments. Have you tried to withdraw any money? Yes, and promises made. And promises broken. I can't send the full $500. When this handwritten note was sent by Williams to Dr. Parson, he suspected his investment of 12 years was falling apart. Come clean, where, where is it at? Um, where does it stand, is it real? Is the money gone, is it there? We looked over financial records for David Robertson and Scott Parson. 2011, new opportunities boosted our gains. 2009, crazy year, 15% growth. Among the financial reports are no charts, no tables showing how the investments produce returns. Bylaws, however, state that Dash Holdings is the custodial company for the administration of self-directed IRA assets. Six News asked David Lewis, one of Knoxville's leading financial advisors, to examine the reports sent to club investors. His analysis is summed up in one word, troubling. We need to be able to understand a clear way to, that the investment would, would make money. It, it, it basically said, we're going to make a lot of money for you, but we, 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 we've not told you how. Williams had his investment company office in this Shelbyville, Kentucky home. He moved several years ago when he opened a barter business franchise with Trade Bank in Louisville and became a franchise owner. In Gatlinburg, we found Williams at a church where he's been the minister since 2005. After the service, he agreed to an interview. Their money has been invested in a company called Trade Bank. Trade Bank. Mm -hmm. Williams blamed the collapse of Open Door Investment on Trade Bank. With the cancellation of the franchise in late 2011, he said all tangible assets were lost despite his efforts to recoup the investments. Trade Bank has basically gone out of business now, or going out of business. Is their money safe? Um, no, it's, as far as Trade Bank is concerned, their investment is, in Trade Bank is pretty much gone. Why? Because they've lost their operations. They've not been able to keep things going. Here's the Robertson's request for conversion. This was written last year. They'd like to have all of their money transferred to Northwestern Mutual. Okay. There is no money to transfer to Northwestern Mutual. From his office in Atlanta, Georgia, we talked by Skype with John Davis, the president of Trade Bank International. Mr. Williams said Trade Bank is going out of business. Is that true? Absolutely not. We've been in business for 27 years. We're definitely not going out of business.
Mr. Davis says he terminated Williams' franchise agreement because of the way he handled clients. We showed David Robertson our interview with Roger Williams. I mean, I like to see his records and see what uh, exactly he has done and how much money he's got. Getting answers to those questions is up to state and federal investigators. Williams investors told us they have contacted the SEC and Tennessee Securities Office concerning alleged irregularities. On your side, Don Dare, 6 News. Well, the president of a Knoxville investment club writes he is going out of business and plans to declare bankruptcy. Families who have their money invested in the club are angry and they're puzzled tonight asking, where's their money? As 6 News investigator Don Dare discovered, the whereabouts of their money is tied up in a tangled web of accusations and excuses. The financial returns for open door investments that started in Knoxville have fluctuated with the economy. For the most part, though, yearly reports by club president Roger Williams highlighted extraordinary growth for the day trading company. At first, if members needed access to their money, they could get it, sometimes. However, about three years ago, the money flow slowed, then stopped. When were these pictures taken? The pictures on Jimmy Vineyard's mantle go back 40 years. The Korean War veteran, father of three, and retired Oak Ridge lab worker had prepared financially for his family. Married for 53 years, he and his late wife Ellen thought they had invested wisely. Before she died in early 2011, he had been her caretaker for two years. She was a special person. Absolutely. Mother of my children. In July 2006, Jimmy met Roger Williams, the president and treasurer of Knoxville's Open Door Investments and Dash Holdings. Jimmy and Ellen transferred their total earnings into Open Door Investment Club. All your life savings and hers. Ours is gone. It's gone. That's what I believe. Early statements from Dash Holdings sent by Williams show robust yearly gains for its 90 members. 20%, 25%, and then an IPO for even more than that. Williams, he said, directed their investment into a Pensco self-directed IRA. Jimmy and his wife were confident with Roger Williams. Nearly uh, just under $600,000 that he's got him on counting the interest I'm supposed to get. Then when Ellen became seriously ill, Mr. Vineyard told Williams he needed to withdraw money to pay for her care, but he couldn't get it. Despite his investment nest egg, Jimmy said he had to borrow money when he put Ellen into a skilled nursing home. He says occasionally Williams would send several hundred dollars, but never what he needed. I've suffered ever since I couldn't get any money from my wife, and she needed it, and he knows that. Judy and Gerald Perkins invested close to $150,000 with Dash Holdings. For several years, they received monthly checks like these drawn on their investment, which paid the mortgage on their house. But a few weeks ago, the Perkins received devastating news. Williams wrote saying, as of July 11, 2014, he is going out of business. All distributions will cease immediately. It's our money. My husband worked for that, and it was his retirement. We checked on the investment club. It is registered. We check to determine if Williams is a licensed investment advisor or broker. The Financial Industry Regulatory Authority has no record of him. At the Securities Exchange Commission site, there is no record either. But in early 2013, we discovered Williams filed an exemption for registration requirements with the SEC. Open Door Investment through Dash Holdings is the original name of the club. It's gone through several name changes since 1998. The location of this church in Gatlinburg is the previous address of Dash Holdings, Inc., according to records. Williams has been the minister here since 2005. We talked with him after a recent Sunday service. He said club members have lost their money. All the investment that we had in building up the business and everything has pretty much gone away. We showed him investment information from people like Jimmy Vineyard, the Perkins, and others who have talked with Six News. Their money is gone? Their money's gone, yeah. Some 90 investors? How about the other, how about the other investors? Yeah, their money, yeah. That was all of our investment they, over the past seven years. We focused on building up Trade Bank, and then Trade Bank went out of business. I don't think he wants to take the blame. He needs a scapegoat for it. John Davis, the president of Trade Bank International, which is a barter company, categorically denies Trade Bank is out of business. Mr. Davis saying from his office in Atlanta, Trade Bank is as healthy as ever. 
He told his trade bank terminated Roger Williams' franchise in Louisville because the company was not satisfied with Williams' performance. I certainly hope justice is done here and that your investigation can hopefully help these people recover their money and get to the bottom of this. In his letter to the Perkins, Williams writes, I am distressed you have suffered a financial loss. There is no light at the end of this tunnel. We have no option other than to file bankruptcy. Distributions of every penny went to the few who threatened the most or complained the loudest, he says. Gerald and Judy Perkins say they have talked with securities investigators regarding their dealings with Roger Williams. Jimmy Vineyard says he too has talked with investigators about Williams. I believe in my heart that he's got money somewhere. He is not stupid. Several investors from out of state have explained similar stories to what you heard tonight. The question repeated by all, where did our money go? On your side, Don Dare, 6 News.